Fox News alert. We've confirmed the woman listed as a exec executive assistant number one in the New York Attorney General's scathing sexual harassment report has filed a criminal complaint against Governor Andrew Cuomo. She accuses him of groping her while taking this selfie. Cuomo has denied her claims. But even as the harassment scandal and other investigations threaten his career and livelihood, Cuomo was spotted lounging by the pool yesterday in photos obtained by the New York Post. Meantime, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio says Cuomo's days are numbered. So this is just a matter of time before he's gone. If he was not such a narcissist and he actually could think about other human beings, he would say, hey, you know what? I'm doing a lot of damage at this point. It's time to go. Just get the hell out of the way. Emily, starting with you, as you're facing potential legal battles ahead, which you can fill our viewers in on, he's lounging by the pool with his assistant in these photos that quite clearly are not the image you want to portray after such a scathing report. No, this guy keeps piling on to the PR nightmare he has, in addition to, as we're learning, the criminal and civil and potentially federal accountability that he will hopefully be facing for his disgusting acts. Now, just to, to educate everyone for a moment in terms of New York state law, obviously we do not have charges brought, so this is speculation on my part at this point, but forcible touching is a class A misdemeanor here in the state. That's up to one year in jail and a thousand dollar fine as a penalty, and that includes buttocks and breast. And so here I see potentially two counts that he would be facing. And just so everyone understands as well that buttocks, yes, are considered an intimate part of the body for purposes of of these and it's all about whether you you squeeze grab or pinch for the purpose of, of uh, gratifying the actor's sexual desire so all of his points about I meant well or I didn't mean this I think it's pretty obvious especially when you read the port the, the read the report the fact that the first photos in that series were so shaky because she was physically so shaken up by what he was doing oh. to her that the images were blurry Wow, uh, what a detail. Um, Morgan, moving from Big Cuomo in the governor's mansion to Little Cuomo over at CNN, of course, I'm talking about his brother, Chris. Chris Cuomo, he's in trouble as well. You know, he's drafting a potential statement for his brother on sexual harassment claims on February 28th, a day before he tells his viewers, obviously, I can't cover my brother fairly. He's a part-time political consultant in addition to being a family member to this governor. Uh, this is a big journalistic ethics issue. Right, and if I were uh, any of these women that are bringing charges or maybe potentially bringing suits, I, I would also look at, at bringing the brother into it and seeing, uh, you know, what kind of involvement is there beyond what the attorney attorney general has already found. Um, I, I think the the basic uh, thing that all of us could do in this situation uh, is to condemn this sort of behavior um, and and the lack of doing so and just sort of pretending like, well, I can't report on this fairly, so I'm not going to talk about it. it. It's just inhumane. Um, it's inhumane to the women who suffered this. Uh, and really, I think what's disturbing, Kaylee, when you, when you really go through the agen attorney general's report, uh, the thing that uh, all the behavior bothered me, but one of the most troubling things that you saw was the retribution uh, that the governor and his staff uh, sought for any woman who spoke out against what the, the sexual harassment and sexual assault uh, allegedly uh, that he was doing to these women. And, and, and that's what makes it so difficult for women to speak out, right, is whenever they have this all powerful governor and team who will go after them and trying to ruin them uh, for simply speaking out about, about what happened. So there's a lot of uh, scary things here. Uh, there's a lot of hypocrisy coming from his brother and the family members. Uh, this is a story that you can't ignore. Uh, a few nights ago on uh, Brett Bear's show on Special Report, I said that Act Blue needed to take him off the platform, and I believe yesterday they did. So I think then hope that uh, the Democratic Party is starting to wake up to what a liability he is. Yeah, you certainly hope so. Um, we have some text messages I want to put up on the screen here, Jimmy. Um, they involve Chris Cuomo, so let's pop them up. Uh, this is a text message from the AG report. I don't love that part, but Chris Andrew wanted it in. These are text messages between the AG's office. And we have another one we'll put up here. Chris wants to make sure we have enough contrition in here. You would think Chris was a member of the AG staff, but this is a reference to Chris Cuomo, a CNN host who is leading, apparently, having a huge voice and the discussions going on in the AG's office. 
Kaylee, the Cuomos are a national embarrassment, and I know a lot about national embarrassments because I'm a New York Jets fan. But to be <laughs> serious for a second here, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. Understand who these people are. They were believe all women people. If you remember the old tweets from Andrew Cuomo back when the shoe was on the Republican foot, we went from believe all women to believe all women, but not these 11. This is ridiculous. He's not resigning because it would take dignity to resign. He doesn't have it. But this really undermines every bit of progress that was made by the Me Too movement. Understand, every one of those resignations that were forced, and for good reason, during the Me Too movement, didn't come with the weight of an attorney general's report with as many witnesses and as much corroborating evidence as we're seeing here, yet he's still defiantly sitting there to the detriment of any woman that wants to come forward right now. And it really is disgusting. And his brother, there's no world where his brother should be on the air. Think of it this way. If during the Harvey Weinstein saga, his brother Bob had a primetime show that wasn't covering it, you better believe everyone at CNN would have been all over this. But that's why they are who they are. And at this point, if we're being honest, more people trust the finger sandwiches at Jeffrey Dahmer's house than CNN. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. Just want to clarify that's those gross, text messages. Uh, the governor's office. <laughs> Morgan. I said, uh, I said AG's office, so just want to clarify that was the governor's office. But Julie, coming to you, a CNN staffer is quoted on background in, in one of these news articles as saying this is, quote, a disgrace to journalism. How, how would you feel being a journalist at CNN right now? Well, Jake Tapper has actually come out and spoken uh, about how it's a bit uncomfortable, uh, if, if you put it lightly, to be working at CNN when you have the brother of an accused governor. Um, but what I'm disappointed by is that you know, they haven't not only made any point to correct it, but I, I don't understand why he hasn't addressed it on his own show. Because if he was able to go on there and praise the governor for his COVID vaccine rollout and testing and all of that, and they were able to chum it up on TV, then he should equal opportunity here, you know, all bias aside, at least report on it. But to just completely ignore the fact that he covered up. I mean, here he is with his giant Q-tip. So, I mean, and these, I'm not going to lie, were entertaining moments. But this is before the nursing home fallout and the COVID vaccination fallout and the fact that Chris Cuomo did receive preferential treatment when it came to testing and all of that, when nursing home residents weren't getting tested. I mean, I, I believe that if he wants to keep his job, he should at least come forward and go on television and, and address the fact that his brother is being accused criminally and treat it fairly, the story at least, if he is a journalist. I think... Yeah, you're exactly right. And I've got to tell you, those uh, Chris Cuomo, Don Lemon handoffs are some of the most cringeworthy moments. Oh, my God. Moments, oh, uh, my God. So, so awkward. <laughs> oh, man. So awkward. Yes, they are stomach churning. Yeah. Um, coming up.